You're listening to The Cool CLE Show. Hi, and welcome to The Cool CLE Show, brought to you by CoolCleveland.com, putting you in touch with cool events, people, news, and neighborhoods in the Cleveland region. This week, we're joined by Casey Braun, representative of Case Western's Film Society, to learn about the long-lasting Cleveland community tradition of a sci-fi movie marathon, open to crew, students, and the public. This is the 44th year of the marathon and lists movies from animations like Wallace and Gromit to classic 1910 Frankenstein and takes place on January 18th and 19th. But first, here's some more events that I think should be on your calendar. Spend an evening under the stars as you observe the beautiful winter night sky in both the natural elements and inside the Lake Erie Nature and Science Center's Planetarium in Bay Village on January 18th. Limited tickets are available, advanced registration is strongly encouraged, and it's open for all ages. The Women's March returns to Cleveland Saturday, January 19th. Uh, it returns for its third year. It's an anniversary event that brings with 11 a.m. speeches on the public square in downtown Cleveland, followed by a noon march with speeches at 1 p.m. at the Old Stone Church, also on public square. There are sister marches across the country and the globe on January 19th, with seven taking place in Ohio alone. Monday, January 21st, it's Martin Luther King Day. There are numerous venues offering free admission, including the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, where visitors can enjoy live performances and art demonstration, educational programs, and family activities that highlight how people have used music to find their voice and create a sense of community. Other places opening their doors free to the public in our region include the Cleveland Museum of Natural History, the Great Lakes Science Center, Maltz Museum of Jewish Heritage, the Cleveland Museum of Art, and the Akron Zoo. And this band, with members hailing from Kent, Akron, and Streetsboro, it's Extra Crispy. They will be at the McAlpine Meadery in Beach City, along with the Ride the Vibe on January 19th. This is a track from them called Geronimo.
That was Extra Crispy with Geronimo. You can check them out on Facebook and Reverb Nation. We're now joined by Casey Braun, former director of Case Western's Film Society, to talk about their 44th annual Sci-Fi Marathon. Thank you so much, Casey, for joining us today. Hi, not a problem. Glad to be here. 44th annual. So this is a tradition that goes back quite a long way. Do you know how it all got started? I do, actually. (laughs) So back in, I believe, 1974, the Film Society, as we know, it was filmed by John Foreman and Bart Woodward. And they had a member of the organization who was just in love with Star Trek. <laughs> and <simple. laughs> this, this person, this, little, this engineer, really would, wanted to have some kind of Star Trek marathon. Now, at that point, the Star Trek movies weren't really available, and showing the Star Trek shows wasn't feasible. So they went with their plan B, which was a sci-fi marathon, (laughs) though that first year kind of turned into more of a night of sci-fi. Right. But now it's like a whole kind of weekend thing. So it sort of kicks off uh, January 18th and goes on throughout the weekend. Is that right? Yeah. So this upcoming year, it's going to be Friday, January 18th through uh, the early morning of Sunday, the 20th. Uh And... So it's it's scheduled to be maybe 13 or so films. Wow. Uh, along with lots of classic shorts and cartoons in between each showing. Mm-hmm. So and how do you choose what you're going to show each year? Is it a committee decision? How is that uh, figured out? There's definitely a sort of committee among some old directors and some projectionists. Mm-hmm who get together, they go through lots of suggestions from both staff members as well as community members. And generally, it's a popularity contest of what looks amazing. <laughs> have you have you got anything uh, shortlisted at the moment? I know it's uh, still early days, though. Yeah, so we have a couple films that are definitely confirmed, and they are the 2015 Jupiter Ascending, the 1984 Nausicaa of the Valley of the Wind, 1984 Gremlins and the 1988 They Live. Nice. And it's great how you sort of, uh, I looked at sort of previous years, you've got them all on your website. It is mm-hmm. a mix of kind of like old, uh, older classic sci-fi stuff, some B-movies thrown in, some more modern mm-hmm. stuff. There's a real eclectic mix uh, to sort mm-hmm. of appeal to all kinds of different people. And did I read that you can like, you can bring your sleeping bag and just kind of camp out? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's actually a very popular option for a lot of the people who have attended, including the people who've attended all 43 years so far. Oh, my gosh. But people just spread out in Strasacker Auditorium. They bring their sleeping bags up in the balcony area. There's lots of flat ground, and people can who are paying for the entire weekend can just stay, watch whatever movies they want, hang out with everyone. Uh, we bring in food throughout the weekend, too, mm-hmm. to... Uh, help help keep the hordes happy (laughs) and it's just a kind of a constant thing our goal is maybe 28 hours to 30 hours Mm -hmm. every year wow how has it changed over the years um since it started in the 70s how's the how's the group of students um evolved this society over the years well the film society has gone through Lots of ups and downs since when it first started, it was before even VHS or the internet. So it was making, it was uh, very, very popular on campus because it was the only place to go see movies. Mm -hmm. Now in today's society, there are a number of ways to go see, but we offer a really just fun experience. We still show films on the classic 35 millimeter film print. And throughout the years, we occasionally would have showings on the 70 millimeter prints and the 16 millimeter prints, but those are far less common today. And in the recent uh, five to 10 years, we've had to start showing digital films and we have a 4K digital projector as well. Ooh, wow. Interesting. All right. So if people want to get tickets uh, to this event, how, how how do they go about doing that? Sure. 
So we'll, we'll be putting more information on our website, which is films.crew.edu, and that's crew spelled C-W-R-U. Yep. And we've got an entire page dedicated to Sci-Fi Marathon. Mm. But tickets for the event go on sale the week leading up to the event on the 18th, and they're going to be sold on site on, on Case Western Campus. Okay. It's discounted to all uh, people affiliated with the Case Campus and the uh, hospitals surrounding it. Mm-hmm. And and then tickets will be sold at the door leading okay. then. We don't really have any kind of online platform uh, currently available to us. Okay. So you rock up, buy the tickets right there at mm-hmm. the door. Okay. And it's uh, $30, is that right? Yes. Which is so a bargain. Like week- <laughs> That's yeah, like a dollar a movie. Really <laughs> <laughs> we saw a full weekend pass for $30, and people can buy per movie tickets at $4 a movie. Oh, okay. And typically they see, they will leave some sort of identification with us. And then as they're leaving, they pay for it, however many movies they ended up staying for. Yeah. Okay. So if you're not hardcore enough to last the whole weekend, you can drop <laughs> in if there's one particular uh, movie on the list that you really want to see. I think it's a really Absolutely. fun thing. And I love how you guys have kept it going for so long. The longevity of it all is uh, is what intrigues me the most. And I, I really mm-hmm. hope that you guys carry on. It sounds like a really fun group to be part of uh, at the university. So thank you so much, Casey, for telling us all about it. Thank you so much for having me. Now we have new music from Cleveland's soul, R&B, and gospel singer Donnie Lene. This is Starting Over, her latest single available on Spotify. Oh, yeah. This is all new to me. It's always been about us. Ever since I found you, I was you and you was me. We had the kind of love that everyone was proud of. Our support system was so, so strong. But they didn't know things were missing for so, so long. I kept the faith. I done cried many tears at night. I wonder why this just can't be life. myself cause I never ever
That's Donnie Lene with her latest single, Starting Over. You can see her Friday, January 18th at Smart Space on the first floor of the 78th Street Studios. And that's it for this week. Big thanks to Casey Braun for coming on the show to talk about the 44th Case Western Film Society Sci-Fi Marathon kicking off January 18th. For more information on the lineup of movies, you can visit uh, films.cwru.edu forward slash SF Marathon 44. That's films.cwru.edu forward slash SF Marathon 44. And make sure you check out the music featured on this week's episode from Extra Crispy and Donnie Lene. Thank you for listening to the Cool CLE Show brought to you by CoolCleveland.com. Have a good one.